Hey guys, this is Mason from AR500 Armor. We get asked a lot of questions about like uh, storing your armor in your vehicles and stuff like that and to have it ready for quick access. Um, and with the recent shooting that we just had in the Phoenix area, it's kind of become a, more of a hot topic. So we're gonna take a couple minutes and go over some ideas. We'll take a look at my vehicle and how I have my armor set up for quick access and, and go over some different scenarios that you might find yourself in and where you'd wanna have your armor to be able to employ pretty easily in a vehicle. Um, and hopefully this will give you guys some ideas on where you might want to store yours um, in case there's some kind of emergency or heaven forbid a shooting in your area. You'll have what you need in order to uh, survive, keep your family safe. All right, so we take a look inside here. This is kind of how I have mine set up. Uh, I'd like to keep a little blanket over here just because I want to advertise the fact that I have this much kind of stuff in my car. Throw that off. You'll see here's my go bag, my 24-hour uh, pack. Got enough stuff to last me 24 hours. I like to keep it secured in case you get in some kind of accident or something, which is, you know, much more likely to happen. It's not going to go fly around and, and become a projectile or something. Pop that off with the bungee here. And then once you unzip the bag, you'll see the first thing on here. It's going to be my Freeman plate carrier. So when I need it, I just grab it. Throw it over like this. Clip it in and bam, I got a little bit of protection, covers my heart, my lungs, uh, the juicy goodness as it were. I can then go on to put the rest of my stuff in. I got a chest rig here with some mags and everything for a sub gun. I'm um, changing clothes just in case, there's some MREs, there's a little bit of water in there and stuff too. Um, if that's not what I need, then I can just throw that back on, bungee it up, get in the car, take off, or if for some reason for I have to go in to a bad situation like that to maybe get my family or some people I care about out, then I have the armor and the magazines and stuff that I need to do so, I can go get that done. We can get back out here, we can take off and let the professionals handle it. Another way you can do it is just have the blanket over it for a little bit of concealment. Throw that up, bam, your carrier's there, it's ready to go. Throw it on over your head. Get your buckles done up. And then you're ready to go. You got the armor you need for emergency situation, all set. A little more streamlined, a little faster to get to. Um, just again, it's a little less concealable and it, it will kind of move around if you get in some kind of accident or something like that. But some of you uh, might be worth having it a little more readily available than stored in a bag. So the last way we're gonna show you today is kind of the point of the Freeman plate carrier itself. It was designed so that it would fit underneath your driver's seat. So if you needed to access it in an emergency situation, you could do so without even exiting your vehicle. Another good point is that uh, if you're stuck, say, in some kind of traffic jam or something like that and some bad stuff happens, you can get geared up inside your car before you even have to open the door and get out, right? And that's beneficial for you just so that you're ready when things happen. Now all you gotta do, when you store it under there, reach underneath, I do shoulder straps out, throw it over your head, get your clips in, and you're ready to go. You got the protection you need, you don't have to get out of your car to do it. All right guys, so there's a couple ideas on how we run our kit in our vehicles. Um, if you guys have different ways that you do it, please feel free to leave a comment or send us an email and down below. That way, uh, you never know, your comment might help somebody else and how they make their decision to stay safe. If you guys have any questions or concerns about what we just went over, please feel free to give us a call. You can email us, leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to get back to you on it as best we can. Um, as always guys, you stay safe out there and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe for more video content like this.